Hi, this is Dr. Jenny Mitchell, and I'm going to demonstrate how to upload your data file to Power BI. Uh, first of all, you should recognize this file. This is the file that we've used in previous um, assignment, and I'm going to actually make sure this is formatted as a table, so I'm going to do Control A. That'll highlight the entire table, and I'm going to format it as a table. And once I've done that, I'll save the file. And then now that I've got the file ready to go, I'm going to upload it into Power BI. I'm in my Power BI. I've signed in. I've clicked on the data set tab and I'm going to click get data. Now my data is an Excel workbook. So this would, this would be the area I would use. Notice so that there's other ways that you can pull in lots of data from your organization, from a SQL database, from databases, MailChimp, you name it, Salesforce, all kinds of ways. Uh, I'll go get pick up my file. It's on the local file, but notice I could pick it up lots of different ways. And here's my file. I'll open it. Now I have two choices. I can import it or I can upload it. We want to do import it. So we're importing that file. And one of the things too to remember is that this is when we bring it in, Power BI automatically does what's called quick insights. So when I click on the uh, get insights, what it does is it's going to formulate a lot of different graphs and show me some outliers, some trends, some uh, variants, uh, some what they call majority. And so if I click on the view insights and it populates, we're going to see lots of these little tiles that, that are listed here. I'm going to click on this learn more just so you can see that whenever you need to, you can go back into this and it'll explain to you what those insights uh, are trying to tell you. For here's, here's one thing they're telling you that an outlier uh, when there's significant changes in trends, it's going to show it. If there's a correlation, it's going to show that as well. There's low variance. Uh, there's majority. Overall trends. And then there, here's a few that you might not see. It only shows you insights that really match up with your data. And we're not really doing any share price or time series outliers. So we'll go back to our Power BI and just take a look at this a little bit. Um, we've got some uh, majority things, so that that's easy to see. Uh, here is something that might kind of make you wonder and want to check into. The unit price is trending upwards for salesperson and Larson. So essentially you can see that, um, you know, sh that may be something that you want to look into. Maybe you've had a price increase and the only salesperson that's really looking at the new sales uh, prices is Ann Larson. And then we can look here and we have something that might be interesting and to look at. We have average of unit price and quantity, but we've got two outliers, an order placed on 12.4 and an order placed on 6.4. And we can actually look into that and see what uh, has caused that outlier. We've also got a lot of trend things. Um, so we, uh, if I go down here, I find out that my candy category is really trending downward. And I might want to check into that as well as some others that are trending down like condiments and even uh, jams and preserves are trending down. So this data, it's quick insight, but it gives you a lot of information. Now one thing to remember when you're working with this is that if I go in, if I've created a report or something uh, with this data, it's going to show me not only anything that I've set up here as a report, but it also is going to give me those quick insights. Now this is named ABC Global, but it is based on the same data. This is just a report, which I'm going to show you in uh, the next video or two. So we can actually trigger the quick insights um, from several different ways. So we, here we have it here. Um, so I did that from the report. If I go back into the data set again, and here is here is a copy that we put up. If I go over here to these little buttons, there's my view insights and I can bring it up uh, that way as well. That's all for this video and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks for listening.